I've set up base camp for a week in the southern French city of Nîmes. When you're just 23 miles from the Mediterranean Sea, it's important to go and enjoy the sea air at least once. So today I travelled by train to the coastal resort of Le Grau du Roy. I was looking forward to this day trip, there was something special I was looking forward to seeing. Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Le Grau de Roy. Where? Well, we're about 50 minutes south of Nîmes and we're on the Mediterranean Sea. The train itself takes about 50 minutes. It's one euro each way. Why not come here? Welcome to Le Grau de Roy. To give you an idea of the geography of this place, you've got the mainland, you've got tidal ponds, then you've got a sand spit. And on the sand spit is where the town is located. I've got a map and I've circled for some reason something along there. Not quite sure what it is, but it's a point of interest. Let's go and explore that before we explore the town centre. I'm not quite sure why I marked this area on the map. There is a little cruise boat which leaves in about two hours, but I don't think I've ever had any inclination to join a cruise around the, uh, the ponds. Uh, this is a working port, there are fishing boats and things. I wouldn't have come here to look at the fishing boats, so who knows? Right, let's head back into the town. I spotted a small fruit and vegetable market. These are always worth checking out. I couldn't help but go into that little market. There was a few fruits and vegetables I didn't recognize. I did notice that the grapes were all from Italy again. I've noticed that before. It seems as if um, grapes for human consumption are actually not grown in France. Grapes grown in France are for wine production only and they import all their uh, grapes from Italy. Interesting. Right, let's head into the town center. Nine euros for a pint of Cronenborg. You are on a prime location, but woof. And also they don't accept credit cards, so it was cash only. Fortunately, I had enough shrapnel in my pocket to pay for the nine euros, but that was a close one. Right, let's go exploring. Note to self, if I'm gonna have lunch, don't have it here at the waterfront. But then again, everything is by the waterfront here. Every now and again, I can get a whiff of the river, and it's interesting.
There are loads of people fishing here, but I don't think they're having much luck. Uh, back in the town centre, I actually looked in the river and there was loads of fish. So I think they might be in the wrong location. We're just heading into the town centre again now to explore the other side of the river. I'm glad to see the tat is actually restricted to one particular street only. I can see myself on one of those jet skis, kind of James Bond lifestyle, you know? But uh, the water around the Firth of Clyde's a little bit chilly at the best of times. Mm, maybe not. I was just watching those fishermen. One was guzzling from a bottle of wine. Boy, he's going to be in some state later on. I've had one pint of Kronborg and I'm thinking, oof. What a shame I didn't bring my swimming trunks with me. Sighs of relief, I can hear. I'm hungry, I'm gonna try and find some food. Everything around here seems to be tapas and tacos. Tapas, tacos, tapas, tacos. So I found a pizza place and I had a pizza. Washed down by beer, of course. Right, we're on the beach here. Look at this place, this is amazing. Nice though the beach is, I'm not here for the sand, I'm heading about a mile down that way. Something special. Aha! And this is what I've been waiting for.
I don't usually go to aquariums and zoos, but I thought, as is an aquarium in Le Grau du Roy, and I hadn't been to one in about 15 years, I thought, today's the day. I love seafood, especially when it's on a plate, but I like to see the fish in their natural environment as well. So I was a happy man back there. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming with me on this little day trip from Nîmes. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time.